Thank you for watching Enami TV. Today is Monday, 31st of October, 2022. Rest in peace, Hugh McKean, Colorado House Minority Leader, died Sunday, the 30th of October, 2022. Representative Hugh McKean, the leader of the Republican Caucus in the Colorado House, died Sunday at his Loveland home, according to the state party. He was 55. Denver Post reports that McKean, who first was elected in 2016 and was chosen to lead the caucus in 2020, was found at his home in Loveland on Sunday morning, officials said. Deputy Larimer County Coroner Matthew Kaniger said in a statement Sunday afternoon that McKean died of an acute myocardial infarction, a heart attack. McKean was first elected to the Loveland City Council in 2009, seven years before voters sent him to the House to represent House District 51. Larson, a Ken Carroll Republican, said McKean was the consummate happy warrior who deeply loved the institution of the House of Representatives. He would routinely remind lawmakers, Larson said, that the House was larger and more important than any one of them and that it would outlast their tenure within it. He was tasked in 2020 with leading an at times fractious Republican caucus against a strong House majority that Democrats had built. It was often not an easy task. Not only were Democrats firmly in control of the House and Senate, but Republican infighting further strained the party's position. A third of the caucus, Larson said, wouldn't play ball. But McKean had hoped the party was turning a corner. He and Larson had spent hundreds of hours recruiting and helping to elect new members, Larson said, and McKean told the Post in September that he was looking forward to a unified and energized caucus come the next legislative session in January. It's just sad he won't get to see that, Larson said. He put so much work into this. Roger Hudson, McKean's deputy chief of staff, said McKean had been complaining of pain on the left side of his body, but that he had chalked it up to an injury. The pain had worsened overnight and McKean had called his longtime partner. When she arrived at his home, an ambulance was already there. He was a dear friend, and I'm going to miss him an emotional Larson said Sunday morning. I can't believe he's gone. And my heart just breaks for Amy, Parks, his longtime partner, and his son and daughter and Amy's kids. He was just such a loving dad, and he talked about his kids all the time. I hope that they know that. McKean had been at a campaign rally for Republican U.S. Senate hopeful Joe O'D on Saturday. O'D said Sunday that McKean's boundless optimism Kindness and empathy were on full display at that rally, and he offered his prayers to McKean's family. In addition to his partner, McKean is survived by his two adult children. Hugh was fiercely passionate about two things in his extraordinary life, serving the great state of Colorado and spending time with his family, whom he adored, the state GOP said in its statement. Christy Burton Brown, the chairwoman of the Colorado Republican Party, mourned McKean's passing and remembered the time he took to meet and interact with her children. Whenever I saw him or spoke to him, he had an encouraging word and was ready to lift others up, Burton Brown said. Governor Jared Polis said in a statement early Sunday afternoon that he was devastated by McKean's passing, calling him a family man and a true public servant. Hudson, the deputy chief of staff, told the Post that Representative Rod Pelton, a Cheyenne Wells Republican and the House's minority whip, will lead the caucus for the time being. But Pelton is running for a state Senate seat and is also departing the caucus. Larson said McKean's replacement to serve as leader will be selected on November 10, during the caucus's regularly scheduled elections. McKean, who was running unopposed for his fourth term, won a contentious primary in June against a former legislative staffer to Representative Patrick Neville, McKean's predecessor as minority leader and one of the members of the Republican House caucus who, to use Larson's phrase, wouldn't play ball, with McKean. Because he had no challenger, McKean will be considered a member elect to the House, and a vacancy committee established by the Larimer County Republican Party will be called to select his replacement, the Secretary of State's office said Sunday. House Speaker Alec Garnett, a Denver Democrat, said he was shocked and heartbroken by McKean's death. He praised his integrity and deep respect. We will miss his kindness, the joy that he brought to the Capitol every day, 
and the care that he showed every person he ever met, Garnett wrote in a statement. Hugh was the very definition of a statesman, a genuinely nice guy who always wanted the best for our state and his constituents.